Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside this folder, which is inside configure master inside my clips folder service destination destination and there's a file you can see now this file should not be a text file so don't use notepad to edit this file use sublime or notepad plus plus to create a new file gives it some name now the configuration i will open it up to quickly wrap this section so you can see what is the content of this file now the file name is the name of our system which is the backend system name and if you see within these particular screen i have description of the system which is a user-friendly name not only the system but still i have given the system name here just not to confuse it so that is the type or pattern which i'm using for all my description it can be any description my description you can write it so it's for user to understand then you have what is a protocol trust all is true then authentication if you are passing username and password here then you have to say authentication what is the type of the authentication and pass the username and password but for my case i want the username and password to come up in the screen itself when i try to do the integration or try to pull some service or try to deploy my application so at that time the authentication will be asked so i have given the value here has no authentication the name of the system is a4 edge and proxy is internet and this is the ip address of my netweaver gateway system and this is the port whereby it can be used for multiple purpose for example odata abap development for abap odata generation ui5 execution and putting application in ui5 repository for bsp for access odata as well so for all the purpose i want the web id connection to work this connection from web id to my netweaver gateway or the server to which i'm connecting then i have the system name again then i have enable true and if it is a bab system then i have to pass the client if it's not in a bab system then don't pass the client there so this is the entire details which i have to pass here in the file make sure this is not a text file without any extension like txt and also don't use notepad to create this file if it's this is a text file then you will have some problem now some people face the issue of understanding what is my ip address and port number specifically in port number you can face issue and here remember this is http not https so if i go into my sap system here i will show you how you can from the server level reduce your time by understanding what exactly will happen initially so i will go to your sc gw it's not scgw it's sicf where i will be seeing all the services or i can do activation of existing services or define new services so i will just execute for service type inside my default host i will go inside sap you have to carefully understand the path here sap inside sap we have bc and inside bc there would be adt if this ADT is non-active, for example, you can see here that this is a non-active little grayed out. And if you hover over this, this will say inactive. But here in this case, it is active. And once it is active, then what will happen is your server will be able to communicate with those integration scenarios with your web ID with that connection. So you have to make sure that this ADT is actually activated. And to get the port number, what you can do is you go and do test service. Now it will give you a DNS address or a IP address. If DNS is configured, then you will see a DNS address and also a port number. So you can use this DNS address and port number. Or if you know the IP address of your backend system, you can use IP address and the port number here in the file where you define the integration scenario okay so this is a simple step how we connect our web id to our existing system which is 
Retriever ABAP system, which is using SAP HANA backend. Now to confirm it, how can I verify that I was able to connect it to my backend? So if I go into my home page, I go to SAP ABAP repository. If you have established a ABAP as connectivity, so you can read the repository, then you will see some data on selecting the system here. Initially, you will be given a login user ID and password pop up because that will be your first connectivity if in this particular connection you have set no authentication then at the first time a username and password would be required to see the data of all the repository object if that is the result what you are getting then you have properly done the connection now a simple tip because a lot of time you will face challenges to connect to your backend then what you can do also is you can go into your IP which is IP of your server in this case I have 50,000 let me confirm what is my IP of my server this is my IP now for the time being I am showing my IP here but you will be basically not getting anything because I would have changed the IP by the time you are watching this video so this is a different IP public IP and where you have to go is SAP slash OPU in the system itself I will be getting that information if I go to ADT here if I go to test this and um, SAP BC ADT and um, I'll come here SAP BC slash ADT slash discovery so I will go here and if I get a username and password that means I am basically reaching to the right direction and what it will do is it will download a discovery XML file and uh, you have to open this XML file sometime you get some error here then make sure something might be not correct from the backend side and um, you can read this file if it's a big long file with information in it then this is the good news and if this file is a very short file where you have an error message then that is a bad news okay so that's a small tip to debug or check if you are not able to connect to your backend and you can understand okay where is the issue and try to use the entire connectivity as per document i will be giving you this particular text as well in developer helper guide so you can use it for copy and paste now what we will do is try to use our cds view in our web id application so let's get started in the next section for that